Well, fans are checking into their hotels down here. They're getting ready for dinner, and they're really just getting ready for these games that officially start tomorrow. But we're talking about eight different teams with eight devoted fan bases. Uh, just behind me, the Seton Hall Band, or some of them are there. They're downtown for the first time, and we even spoke to some fans whose team is not playing in Greenville today uh, or to this weekend. They just wanted to be a part of the excitement. But one thing is for sure, Greenville will be a very colorful spot this weekend. Well, Friday is St. Patrick's Day, but forget green. Decked out in their team colors, an estimated 42,000 college basketball fans will be hitting the streets of Greenville, and retailers are ready. And the Vault Sports Apparel on Main Street could be a lifesaver for any forgetful fans. Greenville will be overflowing with different team colors all weekend, and if a fan accidentally forgets that favorite game shirt, I'm pretty sure they're covered. We like to represent everybody. We've got over 100 schools, and... Eight of them are going to be in town this weekend. Early Thursday, the fans and their team colors were already here. Just tons of excitement. Um, I know they can do it. So we've, we've been lifelong fans, so we're here to watch them play and get in a good experience. And as one fan in Duke Blue walks away, a Gamecock fan walks up dressed in garnet and black, sort of. It's not garnet enough. This is what's warm today, <laughs> but I will be decked out in a lot of garnet tomorrow. Black and Garnet quickly gave way to a wave of navy and yellow as the Marquette band walked up. And we're just excited to be back in the tournament and to be playing. Uh, and yeah, and we're wandering around the city here. It's a beautiful town. And following the group in Marquette Navy were some fans in red and black for the Maryland Terrapins. This is our 17th year that we've gone to one of the venues for the first and second round. A cornucopia of colors all ready to battle it out in Greenville and hoping to leave the other team and their fans green with envy. All right, so the fans are arriving, and tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so let's be real, there will be plenty of fans wearing green as well. We are live in downtown Greenville. Patrick Hush and WIFF News 4.